Well, okay, so, um, wait. Let's wipe my lens. <clears throat> it still looks washed out, but okay, so, um, did I have a video on these? Not these, yeah, okay, these. So, these Fessel screwdrivers, especially the TD51 set. As you can see, this is gone. This has been filed down to work in, and these three have not been used. This thing is the only one I like. So let me go talk to you about the Vessel TD51 set. In this you get like these minus flathead screwdriver thingies. And I bought these at about, uh, I think, let's see, 20 times the price of one of these sets. This thing my dad gave me and it's still working fine. Although the smallest bit is a bit rounded I think yeah and so it won't like grab onto really small screws that well anymore but s just now when opening this Helios 44 M5 I believe yeah M5 as you probably know you have like these little screws over here yeah that hold in the aperture block this thing has an oily aperture let me go show you oh wait no I, I, I uncoupled the screws over there but then the apertures are, are oily as heck and so I decided to like open up these screws. Now on on a job like this, I usually get my small screwdriver like this. This is a 0 0.9 bit. <clears throat> but since this thing's a bit rounded and I've bought some new screwdrivers, I thought like why not use these? So I ended up using let me go show you how to open this thing. It's also fast to open, like you have to pry this thing really hard. And this hinge is also on its way out. Although I've only worked on a Jupiter 9 and maybe in Jupiter 8M and nothing else I think Jupiter 8M, Jupiter 9 and what else uh, yeah I think nothing let me think yeah pretty much nothing so uh, I've only used this thing for two lenses and as you can see I have these three not unused these are still new essentially so these are new then let me go show you the other ones yeah so this you can see is a 1.2 driver this thing actually chipped on its end when I first bought it yeah. so the first day it came in I tried this thing on a Jupiter 9 and the middle screws on the middle of the body yeah. I put this thing in twisted it and it just snapped the edge so I had to give it a new edge by filing this thing down and now it sort of works but still not perfect yeah these 1.2s are still way better than this because I made this myself. I, I just ground it down with some sandpaper. And this is always going to be more straight than this. No matter what, yeah. No matter how many years I've been using these things, these are still better than this. And um, going on to the 0 0.9 bit, I twisted this with reasonable force. Reasonable force. Not crazy heck force. These things have survived my hands. And so I'm not sure why these things won't, yeah. So this i twisted and here you go this is the 0 0.9 bit it's like mangled to heck and honestly if you want to save your screws use this thing but i want to save my tools more than i want to save my screws because screws are cheap screws you can find more of them in broken lenses dead lenses cracked lenses screwdrivers fuck you man like i bought these things from batam indonesia yeah? so they came quite late essentially I bought them and they came like a week later, which is shit honestly. Yeah. And these things got a lot of money, man. They're not like shit screwdrivers. They're people swear by them in like Facebook groups and stuff like that. But to me, um, I'd say no thank you. I will design some. I mean, these rubber grips are nice. Like, let me tell you, these are nice. These back thingies are also nice. But honestly, with now nowadays technology. This is 2021. You can actually 3D print parts, and I can also design 3D printed parts. I'm actually gonna design a, an adapter 3D printed for the Yashica G. I mean CC, which is coming up on the channel. Um, so I'm not sure why the heck <clears throat> someone would buy one of these unless they were like reliable as fuck or something like that. Yeah, because these cost money, man. These cost money. These vessel screwdrivers. And somehow they're worse than these like cheap ass screwdrivers. I mean, I mean, this thing was gone since the day my dad gave it to me. Yeah? So this is not my fault. Um, I've never used 
this unless I want to like push on a screw and make it fall out and these two are exactly the same for some reason which is I'm sure not, not from the same set I think yeah because they're supposed to come in different sizes and the smallest one is still on its way with me I actually broke one of these yeah but I broke the other one let me close this is my like tools drawer yeah so when you hear me pulling this wooden thing out in normal videos normally my camera's like up here yeah up here but then today i have this which is my phone camera because i'm actually working on a private project with this which is this helios 44 or 5 i mean 44 m5 and that's why i'm not recording it because i've made too many helios videos yeah so let me go find my small screwdriver where the heck is it uh wait, wait, wait. here you go yeah so this thing is officially only a pry tool but Still, look at how much wear is on that tip, man. See? I think it's shiny. I use this thing until I broke it. This is not yet on its way out. And this, the green one, is already dead. Like, this is less than two weeks into my ownership of this thing. Which is, honestly, Vessel being a Japanese company, I think you can actually do better in this, man. TD55. Yeah, it's like... Shit. Although these larger bits are actually quite nice. I'd say if you want to buy these, I thought I'd buy the smaller ones because the small ones are more precise essentially yeah, and they grip better. I think if these things are still new, they'll actually grip quite well. But these things are quite rounded yeah, and the grip's quite small so I think that is why I'm not getting screws out with these things. But honestly, also these things are a bit longer than the vessel one so you can actually get into smaller crevices with this than the vessel. Mine is a bit crooked, but <clears throat> uh, crooked screwdrivers are better than broken ones. These things are quite nice. They're actually thinner than the cheap rubbish ones for some reason, yeah? Because I think you can actually also file these things down, but they are a bit thinner than the cheap ones. Let me go show you. So, let me fucking hell, how do I show you, man? So, uh, let's see. There you go, yeah? So, you can probably see the difference in like thickness. This is way thinner and this is the vessel. But on smaller bits, it doesn't matter honestly uh, whether or not you buy the expensive ones. So what I'd say is I'm gonna go make a series on modifying these screwdrivers. I'm gonna go get another set and wait. So I'm, I've am i gotten this Helios and a Zenit for like really cheap. I'm gonna sell these things off before I buy another set of screwdrivers. Yeah, because these things broke my vessels. And I'm gonna launch another series called modifying these screwdrivers these like cheap ass screwdrivers i'm gonna buy a new set so i'm gonna see how the new screwdrivers quality is like they might break like the vessels they might not but i think that'd be an awesome series for you guys that are like to like modify fixed cameras lenses because these small screwdrivers are really hard to find honestly like the real good ones you search online people say vessel i've bought vessel and vessel shit so I'll try using these. I'll try modding them, filing the larger ones to meet vessel quality, vessel comfort, TPU filament is there on the market. These, these also vary in size, so I'm gonna have to vary the TPU, yeah. But honestly, vessel can do better. If you wanna do better, go send me a set or something like that that actually has been tested. Cause honestly, these are not good screwdrivers. Even the case is shit, man. The case hinges on its way out. This thing was so hard to open when it's new. And now it's just... Look at this. It flops out. I mean, fuck. The lock is fiddly as heck. You can't just open it with one hand. And let me show you here. This thing used to like hold this place upright. But now, see? It flops down. And this plastic is on its way out, let me tell you. Yeah. So, you can see this. That's like fatigue in the plastic. While well, this has a hinge, like, this is broken because I dropped it, yeah, not because of, like, it crumbling, but still, hinges, clips, these clips don't work anymore because I broke them, yeah, but still, the screwdrivers are more important than the case, the case is broke to shit, I can still put them in a bag, but screwdrivers, I need them, and screwdrivers are the important thing, so yeah, um, I'd say steer away from vessels. I'm gonna go f somehow make a way to like fiddle around with these after I sell this Helios. This thing has a chip optic. 
in the back somebody chipped it before I did yeah so so I bought these things as somebody else's CLA project yeah and they chipped the optics so I'm gonna just clean the front everything clean make the aperture work good and try flip this thing for some little bit of profit and that little bit of profit I'm gonna go work on I mean buy a set with that profit so yeah if you wanna buy it go wait for it if you're in Indonesia yeah cause if you're not in Indonesia I'm not selling it overseas Tokopedia Group here forever Bukalapak Kevin Yang I think my name yeah so yeah you can go search me over there if you wanna buy lenses and stuff my profit is gonna all go into lenses and servicing them so yeah thank you for watching hope you like the video and wait for more cause these vessels are shit and I wanna get good screwdrivers that don't mess with my hands cause as you can see my hand has like this scar over here yeah that's because of me holding too much screwdrivers so yeah goodbye